sat with who was that guy? Lane. Yeah, you went and sat with him. And what did Pastor Roger start talking about? What what's my favorite verse? Well, I say six two. Yeah. <laughs> you say you don't know. But I, I don't know, but it's yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. When I was a special ed education teacher, I would go into the principal's office and close the door, and I would ask my principal questions about her daughter that she adopted, and I always wanted to know about her. God was already putting into place our story without me knowing anything about it. I just felt this like powerful feeling of like going to the Lord and saying, use me, God, use me, Lord, for your broken kids, because that's my sweet spot that I feel a gift that you've given me. Well, I just said that prayer in church. So I'm like, um, I think I just ra raised my hand to God and asked him to use me for this, so I think I need to say yes. I really thought um, that I could fix this situation, that I could give him a, a righteous path, that I, that I could, could help that um, story be a better story for him and um, save his life. You know, here this comes quickly. This whole story plays out where there's a baby now sleeping in a pack and play in my room. And so I'm sitting with my two kids who I'm homeschooling and we're starting with a devotional. And so we open up the Bible. My daughter asked who named him. And I said that the, the mom, the birth mom did. And she knew it was a Bible name. So she wanted to know more about it. And so I had my Bible open and I, I looked up the beginning and I said, well, it means the Lord rescues, the Lord saves. And she slams her hands down on the Bible and she says, well, we have to save him. Well, we, we're gonna save him then, right? Reactive attachment disorder is definitely what he ex exudes. In his first six months of life, he was dropped a couple of times out of an umbrella stroller or fell out of a bed and, and was homeless um, most of the time that he was um, in those months. His mental health issues are really, as he's becoming a teenager and a grown man, he's, um, He's fighting much harder. I'll have um, portraits of him in my living room, and he'll take that and he'll rip it. And I've had to replace pictures of him constantly. I had a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, and it started by um, just falling over a little bit or getting stopped in my motor planning. My son, in his place that he that he kind of doesn't realize he's in so much, he pushes me, and then he'd catch me and he'd push me and catch me. Like he was messing with my disability. And it was a very scary moment. And for me, I felt like it was a, it was a direct hit on my inability to parent or my inability to, to, to fix this child, to help him. And so when God showed me that, that significant, like to sit down and be in this, in this muck and mire, because that's what I did for you, Kim. I, I did that for you, so this is what I'm asking you to do. So what other people think kind of went out the window, and I, I became a little louder with, you know what, this is my story, and I'm his advocate, and I'm going to do the best I can because this is not going to be for nothing. I'm not going to just walk away from this. You have to put your faith in what God is doing in that vessel, in that person, and, and, and how they're growing. When you said you were talking to your friends at school, and you said, well, Mom, we all... Fall short of the glory of God. Say it again. We all fall short of the glory of God. Yeah. Stop. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I'm still in this mess. I'm still, it's not just a situation that has come and gone and we prayed it through and it's all better. It's going to be continuous. And I, quite honestly, I can't tell you that we're going to survive this. I can't tell you the end of that game board. I can't tell you the... Um, that God is going to redeem everything right here, right in front of me. Like, we don't know those answers. And thank God, that's why we have the hard things in our life, because it forces us to get to our knees. It forces us to, to share this kind of story so that other people can know that they're not alone. God's using the mush for the right things, but he's also using my grit. I have, I, there's strength in this. Like, I, I'm finding my strength. I'm finding that I, I can endure things. Do you feel loved by me? Sometimes. That's a good answer, actually. Do I feel loved by you? No. Sometimes. 